Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening to all. My name is Nurin Awatif Awni binti Muhammad Nazor and I'm from Institute Pendidikan Guru Kampus Pendidikan Teknik. Today, I'm going to present my research paper entitled Perceptions of Teacher Trainees on Applying Aurelia in Teaching English Language. These are the list of contents for my, for my today's presentation. The first one is the background of the study. The goal of education in the 21st century is the mastery of information, abundant knowledge and understanding, and the advanced use of technology in the society. It should allow our students to master the learning the learning process, to engage with their curriculum, own and direct their learning in their own individual and flexible ways. These 21st century skills include the ability to collaboration, communication, analyze and address problems. They also need to rely on critical thinking and problem solving to to create innovative solution to the issues that faced by our world. Every child should be given the opportunity to acquire and master these skills. Besides, uh, learning English is one of the important aspects that need to be focused on in this 21st century era. People now are living in the globalization era in which the, ma the nature is the mobility of interaction between some countries to do the cooperation such as in trading, students exchange and many more. At this point, English become an important language in this globalization era. So people are demanded to be able to communicate in international language. Therefore, in order to be able to survive in this era, people need to be well prepared of this international language. Learning English language also can increase one's ability, one's ability to solve problems and to think critically so this future generation will be able to survive in this world. However, According to Abumova 2008, traditional English language classroom training does not encourage critical thinking skills. The ability to actively apply information, gain truth, experience and reasoning. But instead, this uh, traditional English training uh, emphasizes the role of teacher as the knowledge dispensers and student as the repositories. It means that the students only receive and take whatever be given by the teachers without having to think more critically, more creatively and more deeper. Dreamwater 2008 states that teaching English to young learners through Relia helps the learners to connect between words and objects. Young learners are easier to comprehend the language with the real thing rather than abstract. In practice, bringing the actual item to class provides an unmistakably clear illustration for an object. And for my study, the word "relia" refers to any items, things or fact that found in everyday life and used as a tool as a tool in teaching. Relias are objects from real life that often found in our environment and will be used in classroom instruction. The next one is uh, the statement of problem. In education, Relia are objects from real life used in classroom instruction by teachers to improve students' understanding of other cultures and real-life situations. A teacher of a foreign language often employs Aurelia to strengthen people's associations between words for every 
the objects and the objects themselves. However, teachers might encounter few problems when applying Aurelia in teaching and learning process, especially when teaching English language. The problem they face can lead to an ineffective teaching and learning situations. This can directly affect the learning outcomes of the pupils and lacks emphasis on critical thinking. The lesson will be less meaningful and it can prevent the pupils from gaining direct experiences in which leads to lack of critical thinking. Next, is, next are the research objectives and research questions. The research objectives of my study are the first one is to identify problems faced by teacher trainees when applying Aurelia in teaching English language and to find out how teacher trainees overcome the problems that they face when applying Aurelia in teaching English language. The next one, uh, my research questions. The first one is what problems faced by teacher trainees when applying Aurelia in teaching English language and how is teacher trainees overcome the problems that they face when applying Aurelia in teaching English language. Next one is the theoretical framework. These are the three theories that I use uh, for my study which are Cognitive Constructivism by John Piaget, Multiple Intelligence, Visual Special Intelligence by Howard Gardner, and Natural Approach by Stephen Gresham and Tracy Terrell. The first one, the Cognitive Constructivism by John Piaget. This theory explains the learning process by schemes and adaptation. According to this theory, uh, learning and acquisitions are achieved when learners are exposed with as many authentic situations and facilities as possible. Cognitive constructivism, this, this theory, cognitive constructivism is an approach to learning that holds people actively construct or make their own knowledge that and that really is determined by the experience of the learner. Next is multiple intelligence. Uh, visual special intelligence is the person's ability and capacity to understand, remember and recall the special relations between uh, images, between objects, to think in terms of images and to orient overall specially. And uh, people with this intelligence, visual special intelligence, are very aware of their surrounding and are good at remembering images. They learn well through visual aids, for example, such as uh, reliefs, diagrams, pictures, colorful displays, and many more. And the last one is Natural Approach by uh, Stephen Gresham and Tracy Terrell. This approach is one of the communicative approaches to language teaching presently in use. And the general goal of this approach is uh, the ability to communicate with native speakers of the target language. The next one is research methodology for the sampling. The target population of my study uh, consists of teacher trainees from five different campus in Malaysia, which are the first one is IPG Raja Melewar, IPG Campus Ipoh, IPG Campus Perlis, IPG Kent, and the Sampling procedure that I use is certified random sampling technique. And for the instrument that I use for my study is questionnaires 
My questionnaire consists of 20 questions and these questions are, uh, has been divided into four different sections which are the first one is the general perceptions of teacher trainees about Brillia. Uh, the purpose, purposes of using Brillia in teaching English language. What problems that they face when they apply Brillia in teaching and learning and also solutions to overcome the problems that they face. As for the data collection procedure, I use Google Form. Uh, it is convenient and easier for me to distribute my questionnaires using Google Form as a platform because my respondent can easily assess, can easily answer the questions only using the smartphone. And lastly, uh, for to conclude my presentation for today, based on the data that I have collected, based on the questionnaires that my respondent had answered, most of the respondents agreed that Rilia is one of the effective teaching materials. Most of them believe that Rilia can really help uh, the pupils to think more creatively because they, uh, they can relate the objects and the lesson that we deliver by the teachers. Next, uh, difficult to control the class is the main problem when applying Rilia in teaching English language. It is also based on my uh, data collected that most of the teacher trainees that have gone practical agreed that when they apply Rilia in the classroom, uh, the, uh, the class will be difficult to control because most of the people will be extra excited when they'll be exposed with Rilia because Rilia is objects that uh, we can find in our daily life when the teacher implement the Rilia in learning so it will boost their excitement and based on the, the, the data they believe that create classroom rules and preparing the Rilia only for selected stage in a lesson can help to to overcome this problem by create classroom rules, the, the students will be more controlled and also when the teacher prepare Aurelia only for selected stage in a lesson, the classroom, the teacher will be able to control the classroom. That's all from me. Thank you.